welcome back to the farm. We sure appreciate you being here. Today, I thought we'd go over snacks and treats and what we give our Jersey Giants and our mixed breed flock here on our little farm. And I'd like to thank Grub Terra for sponsoring this video. Um, and I will talk a little bit about their product here um, when we get over by the chickens. So again, thanks for joining me. Come here. Come here. Duck -a boy. Oh, it's a little chilly out here on the farm today. Diesel dog. This is Diesel dog. You've seen him in our videos. Come. Come. Good boy. Diesel is a Frenchton pug. Daddy was a Frenchton, which is a, a Boston Terrier, and a French Bulldog, and Mama was a pug. No, no. Leave that alone. That's fine. Thank you. So I brought some notes so I don't forget to cover what I wanted to cover today, but again, the video is sponsored by Grub Terry here. Um, they reached out to me via email. <clears throat> Haven't worked with any companies before. Was a little leery. So I uh, took it though with an open mind and did some research on the company and was quite pleased with what I found. So um, I'm going to share that with you along with some of the snacks we give these hog dogs behind me, our Jersey Giants. So snack wise, we do a blend of scratch grains, cracked corn, and sunflower seeds. And we do that once a day for the uh, hens and the rooster here. And that is just to give them a, a little treat and then a little extra calcium and protein to help them in these colder months and, and with their feathers. So. Um, Another thing we do is we give them mealworms, as I'm sure many of you do who have chickens. Again, it's just another great source of protein to help with the molting, help with the laying of the eggs, and to just help them stay warm during these cold months. Also helps meat birds grow pretty quick too, if you wanted to use that trick as well. So Grub Terra contacted me and asked if they could send me a bag of their black fly larva and if I would give an honest review on the channel. Well, I'm not gonna eat it, so I don't know what I can review as far as how it tastes, but I'm sure the chickens are gonna love it. But what I did do is I researched the company. So a young man by the name of Michael, I don't wanna say it wrong, so let me check my notes. Michael Survey, out of Boston when he was in college, started this small business of growing black fly larvae in his basement because he saw it as a sustainable business plan. So he takes, and goes to restaurants and farmers markets and grocery stores and gets all of the produce and food that is gonna basically end up in a landfill. And he goes back and he feeds it to this black fly larva. And through that, for every one pound of larva that he grows, 20 pounds of food waste is diverted from landfills. So here on our farm, we practice the three R's, recycle, reuse, and repurpose even if we have the money for something, if we can reuse something on the farm to make it and do just as good of a job, that's what we choose to do because it keeps products out of landfills. So I was very excited about that. I was also excited that it's a USA-based company. Not only is it operated right here in the United States out of New Jersey, founded and originated in Boston, but they use local grocery stores right there around the facility to feed the larva. So very local, very America, very sustainable, I loved it. Doing more research, this has, I think it says 75% more protein, 75 times more protein than the mealworms here. So the mealworms, that's the only reason why I give it to them is because of the protein. Then I went into even further, it's got calcium, other minerals, looking for my dog. Diesel, come, come. He'll come. Anyway, other minerals that are great for your chickens. So I thought, well, why not? And then I said, well, but if they don't offer it local here at my feed store that I use here in our small town, again, supporting local business, is it worth it to ship it? So the great news is, according to their website right now, it's free shipping in the USA and Canada. So shipping costs aside, let's see what the product costs. So my mealworms here are... How many pounds was this? Was two pounds for $20.35. Yeah, that's a lot. 
Then I went on to Royal King's website. They have a five pound bag of mealworms for $39.99. So if I get 75 times more protein per bag per pound, right? If I can get five pounds for less than, five pounds of black fly larvae for less than mealworms, I'm getting 75 times more protein, 75 times more protein. <laughs> so it makes sense. And their five pound bag is $36.95. So that's even less money with free shipping. Why would you not do it? If you're interested in doing it, go to their website, use GRUB10 in the discount code and receive 10% off your entire order of anything on their website. So with that said, let's see if the birds like it. Diesel, come out of the field, dude. Let's go. Okay, so I just opened the bag. Here's another thing I noticed. This is like vacuum sealed, airtight, completely full of product, which is another thing I noticed that basically they're able to use less packaging because they vacuum seal it down, cutting down on plastic use. They don't advertise that, but that's something I put together just now when I opened it. And I wanted to show you what they look like inside. Pretty cool looking if I can get it open with one hand. Let's see how good I am. They're already like, what are you doing, man? Me two hands. I don't know if I was a chicken, I think I want to eat them. They definitely look better than that. I don't know if it were up to me. I think I'd go for the bigger guys. So let's see if they like them. Ready? Which my got? Maybe a big boy. Which my got? Oh, he's a hollering at him to come over and check it out. Oh. Mmm. Doing good. been so muddy and rainy here lately. Oh, they like them. It's a win. It's a win. I love it. So these guys eat freely all day. We keep uh, their food um, out and accessible right here all day long and then they have free range within their um, pen here and, uh, those of you who watch know that we do move them a few times a year but oh my goodness black fly larvae is a success with Mr. Daphne Mm. Good boy. You can see a little bit out of that eye. Not a whole lot, though. You want them, baby? You girls want them? No? So, something back here for the other girls. Go, big boy. Your pretty boy. So let's see if our other girls like Grub Terra. Well, I say they like them. So hopefully, like their bag says, promotes stronger eggshells, keeps feathers healthy, farm raised 75% more calcium. Hopefully that'll help these guys finish up their molt and we can get us some eggs. 
huh? What do you think? Y'all been tearing up at pumpkin over there. That is Marshmallow right there. And she is a Jersey Giant Lavender Orpington mix. And she is beautiful. it for this video again thank you for watching if these are videos you like please like share and subscribe thank you again grub Terra. the ladies and the gentleman love them very much we'll continue to continue to use these and uh, i'll try to get back with a little bit of an update as soon as i can on how they're doing and if it did help with the molting and the egg issue until next time though have a great day